From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Satellite and radar composite across the southeast tells a story on this Friday afternoon. We found a lot more in the way of cloud cover today compared to the last few days, but we still see some sun at times across the area, and that's allowed for still warm temperatures. We've hit 80 again this afternoon here at the studios in Lawrenceburg after starting in the mid-60s with a morning low of 64. No rainfall today, but we do have some slight rain chances as we head through the next few days with those peaking after midnight Sunday night through a large part of Monday. Also, moon getting full this weekend with that peaking as we head through tomorrow on the 28th. Here is Futurecast starting this evening and mostly cloudy skies as we head through the evening, but a few holes in the cloud cover starting 7 p.m. here in the low to mid 70s. So if you're headed out to the high school football games, weather looking just fine. It's going to be on the mild the slightly warm side, not uncomfortable by any means. And except for maybe the slightest chance of a sprinkle, we're going to be dry, so no delays or anything like that. Dropping through the 60s overnight. And by daybreak, I think most of us are into the lower 60s, but a few folks may sneak down to around 58, 59 for your morning lows. And then partly to mostly cloudy through the day, everybody warming into the low to mid 80s. And I can't rule out a stray sprinkle or a shower during the afternoon or the evening or overnight hours across especially western areas of southern middle Tennessee, but the chance of rain for any one person really, really small on our Saturday, the vast majority of us staying dry. It's really going to be near or after midnight Sunday night and then through a large part of Monday when we see showers move in with this cold front and big temperature changes coming for next week. I think we're going to see our first light freeze across the area as we head in through our Halloween night, and also our Wednesday night just past that. Clearing skies, though, in time for the trick-or-treating, so that's good news for the kiddos. They're just going to have to wear the jacket. I'll show you the temperature trend here in just a minute. If you're headed out to the pumpkin patch this weekend to get that pumpkin for your Halloween jack-o'-lantern before you run out of time, or you're having a fall festival at your local church or community center, truck or treat or anything, weather looking pretty much okay for the weekend, Again, slightest chance of a shower Saturday, but the vast majority of us stay dry, otherwise partly cloudy to mostly cloudy each day. Daytime highs across the area overall into the low to middle 80s, but big changes coming to start next week. This will be one of those cases where we hit our daytime high before sunrise on Monday, dropping to the mid to upper 50s by daybreak into the 40s by the afternoon because temperatures don't go up Monday, they go down the whole day into the 30s to start Halloween morning, struggling to hit the lower 50s by the afternoon. So kids are gonna to have to put on those jackets and coats over the Halloween costumes, Halloween evening. And then everybody, I think, into the upper 20s and lower 30s, Wednesday morning and near that on Thursday morning of next week as well, before we steadily but gradually moderate those temperatures toward the second half of next week. Your hourly forecast for tonight, not looking too bad overall. Partly cloudy skies as we head through the overnight, mostly cloudy in spots. Temperatures dropping out of the 70s this evening into the 60s, and most of us into the lower 60s for morning lows around daybreak, although one or two spots could sneak down to 58 or 59. Most of us into the upper 70s, lower 80s over southern middle Tennessee for daytime highs on our Saturday, but one or two of us could sneak up into the mid 80s here and there, mostly cloudy skies, but some sun at times. And again, can't completely rule out a shower. Vast, major vast majority of us dry, same over Northwest Alabama, low to middle 80s here. Here's a look at your seven day forecast from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. Again, can't rule out a shower for Saturday, but almost all of us dry. Late night showers near or after midnight, Sunday night with that cold front. Those showers continue through Monday, dropping temperatures Monday. That 57 is at sunrise. We're in the 40s by the afternoon. And then check out much cooler weather in time for Halloween and as we start November on Wednesday. There's the latest seven-day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock with another check of your local weather.